So I got these baby chickens the other day and because they're so cute, I decided that I really, really, really needed to make a piece of artwork about them. I mean, look at these chickens. Aren't they just the cutest things in the whole wide world? Who doesn't love a baby chicken? The first thing that I did to start my chicken art was to create a drawing of the same type of chicken that I have. Next, I put graphite on the back of my paper so that we can transfer it onto the block that we'll be using to carve on. The type of product we're gonna use to carve out of is called Speedball Speedy Cut. And it is a really good product to start with because it is very soft. Next, you'll need to transfer your drawing onto the Easy Cut block. Just place it on the block where you would like it to go and then using masking tape, tape it in place. Then use a ballpoint pen to go over all of your lines and the drawing will transfer. Because the graphite might smudge on your block, it is a good idea to go over your lines one more time with the ballpoint pen, pushing very, very lightly. When you're ready to carve, we're going to be using these tools that are called gouges. There are two types of gouges. There is a U gouge and there is a V gouge. The U gouge is shaped like a U and the V gouge is shaped like a V. The U gouge is very good at removing large areas, whereas the V gouge is better for fine detail. A bench hook is a good idea. It just fits on the edge of your table and you can put your block on the bench hook resting against the back edge so that it does not move while you are carving. Remember that your gouges are going to be sharp and to position them and hold them is going to be feel a little bit strange because you're going to put them right in the palm of your hand and you're going to hold the gouge almost parallel to the edge of the table while you slowly go along all of the grooves of the carving. Everything that you will remove will be the color of the paper. Everything that is left behind will be the color of the ink. In order to stay safe, you'll always wanna keep turning the block in the direction that will make it so that you'll be carving away from yourself instead of towards yourself. You never want to carve towards yourself, always away from yourself. Wipe your block really well after you're done with carving so that you don't get any little bit stuck into the ink when you get ready to print your block. To print your block, you're going to need some printmaking ink, a brayer, and some paper. The type of ink that we're going to use is a product by Speedball. It is a water-soluble ink. I'm going to use a paper that is a basic printmaking style paper. Well, you can use lots of different types of paper to print your relief blocks. Take your ink and go ahead and apply a thick layer onto a plexiglass plate. When you're applying the ink to the brayer, you can just gently pull some down from the top and make a nice rectangle or a square going back and forth in all of the directions. The sound is really important to listen to. You don't want it to be slurpy. You want it to be more of a soft satiny sound. Once you have your brayer fully loaded with ink, run it over the top of your printing block going back and forth to make sure that you get everything all the way covered with ink. When you're ready to do the printing portion, take your block and turn it upside down onto the paper that you're going to use for the printing. And then you're going to take the entire thing and flip it over like a pancake, making sure that you do not move the block. And then with the palm of your hand, after you've put a piece of paper to protect the ink from going through, you're going to rub the back of the paper pretty firmly and aggressively. Gently pull back the paper to see what your masterpiece looks like. The fun thing about printmaking is that you can make as many prints as you would like. You can make them over and over and over again.
Cleanup is fairly easy using the water soluble inks. You can just rinse them in the sink. They are fine to go down the drain. Rinse your block, rinse the palette that you were using to put the ink on, and rinse your brayer. Now that you've made multiple prints, it is time to sign them. Traditionally, prints are signed using a pencil. The first thing that you will do is write down the edition number on the top left, and then you will put however many you made on the bottom, like a fraction. In the middle, you're going to put the title of your art in quotations, and then on the right side, you will put your signature with the year. You can sign your work either right directly underneath the print or on the bottom of the page.